Sometimes I don't even realize. But when I preach, there's always somebody that comes to me and says, you were speaking exactly what I was praying about. My wife tells me, David, you're prophetic. You got to trust in God. And little old me sometimes, I don't always have the strongest faith. But God puts me to the test. When I preach and things come to pass, God reminds me, I'm with you. Somebody turn to their neighbor and say, God is with you. If you're here today, I want you to know that you're not here by an accident. You're here by a divine appointment. If this man of God is going to call me with all the persecution, there must be a reason. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you're going to be friends with David Lynn. I once had a pastor say this to me. He said, are you sure you want the smoke? And I said, what do you mean? And he said to me, by partnering with me. There's a certain type of anointing that I have that comes with blessings but comes with attacks so you sure you want to preach around me hallelujah you know when you're a friend of Jesus you're in the best company you could ever be in but you're also in a company that's going to bring attacks you're going to have the Roman soldiers come after you. You're going to be hanging out in the temple court. And they're going to say, did, did I not see you with Jesus? <laughs> Are you that guy that was with him in Galilee? And it's going to make some of you start to say, no, 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 it wasn't me. Wasn't me with David Lynn. No, I, I, that was a different person that you saw in that video. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. 
So many ministries were birthed from CFM. We had hundreds of people lining up to be baptized during the pandemic. One of the only churches still open during the pandemic. Not many preachers went to jail for Jesus in Canada. Not many preachers are bold enough to stand on a street corner and be willing to get arrested. It takes a certain mantle to do this. God bless you, brother. I'm hearing about your story, brother. May the Lord give you grace. Come on now. Triple grace, brother. Come on. Hallelujah. I just heard he got arrested for Jesus. This church has a wonderful pastor. But wonderful people need wonderful obedience. And even wonderful people also have to have a heart to grow even further. I want you to know I haven't arrived yet. I'm still growing. And I always said to myself, if somebody came to me, I don't care who it is, and brought the word of God to me in an area that I didn't understand before. Something that I didn't know about in the past. I always said that I would be the first to adjust my ways. Because I haven't arrived. I'm not in heaven yet. The reason why the gifts of God exist today is because we are still growing and being conformed to the image of God. This church needs to come together and open up the Bible and read it literally. There needs to be discipleship groups where you open up the Bible and whatever it says, you have to be obedient to the literal word of God. If you want to go further with a stronger anointing, you got to stop making excuses and saying that was for then. And to say God knows what he's talking about. You may have grown up in a certain type of church. And you might have a certain type of custom. But certain types of churches with a certain type of mantle may have been good for a certain period. But if you want the Holy Ghost the fullness of what God is trying to do in you. You need to go deeper. You need to be willing to go deeper. And you cannot be afraid of what you're going to discover. You may have been doing things one way for a very long time. And you might be looking at certain churches and saying they're doing it like that. They're fine, so I'm going to do it like them. I want you to know here today, God is not looking for people that are looking and praising other people. He's looking for a church that desires to worship Him in spirit and in truth. That means it's not enough to have deliverance. It's not enough to have the healing gifts. 
That is the spirit. It's not enough to have the gift of tongues. This is wonderful. You can have all the gifts and miss the truth. And you can have the truth but miss the gifts. The Corinthian church had the gifts but they were out of order. They were out of order. They didn't have the truth. They had the wrong understanding. God loved them. They were saved. But God wanted to give them more. I don't know if there's anybody here that wants more from God. Hallelujah. You need to be willing to read that Bible. And obey it for what it literally says. If the Bible says to go, you need to go. If the Bible says to preach, you need to preach. If the Bible needs to submit, stop arguing with your husband. Stop arguing with your boss. If the Bible says submit, it is not your place to argue. It is your place to submit. If the Bible says to love, stop making excuses about your love. Love your wife. Love your wife. Love her like Christ. If the Bible says... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's number one. Number two. There's a feminism. All throughout Christianity. I hope I'm not going to step on anybody's toes. But if I got to step on your toes, it's holding you back from your own destruction. There is a problem with our generation. And there's a problem with the churches. And there's a problem with Pentecostal churches. Everybody thinks everybody's the same. Everybody thinks everybody should do the same things. And that's why we have problems in our generation. Women think they can be men today. Men think they can be women today. It's no longer men and women clothes. All the clothes are unisex. Now it's transgenderism. I'm being very light with you. Because I want you to see it without me saying it. I want you to understand without me saying it directly. This is called grace. Grace knows how to say things like, like make it sound sweet. Because you think I'm talking about them. I'm talking about you. There needs to be an obedience to the word. If you want to step into the glory zone of God. If you want to see the power of God in a different way. You need to be obedient to the word of God. You need to know your place. And you need to be in order. The, the children need to be subjected to their parents. The women need to be subjected to the men. And the men in this church need to start to lead. It can't be women being the prayer warriors. It's not their job to pray for the family. It is your job, men, to pray for the family. It's the heads of the home that need to stand up. The women have been standing in your place for far too long. No wonder in the Spanish churches there's so much Debras. Every woman wants to be a pastora. When God called the men to be the pastors. Where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the men? That's why this generation is falling apart. The boys are acting like girls. The boys don't know how to take care of the women. 
because all they see is the women looking after the men and so they chase after the women using them and abusing them because they have no example from the men this is a problem in Latin America the women are leading the churches the women are filling the pews meanwhile the men are getting drunk drinking Modella and all the other Latin American beers no wonder there's so many men in the church with beer bellies not trying to offend anybody but how did you get that belly you're drinking too much beer eating too much papusas listen men you can't get that belly if you're working hard on the field you're sitting on the pew and the women are skinny while the men are fat when the men should be laboring this is time where God is waking up the men this is a man revolution a leadership revolution and God wants to do it in this church every man should be a pastor or a deacon every man should either be on the praise team or a teacher every man every man should be taking a microphone and preaching on the streets and making disciples I see the women but where are the men if you're a man in this house put up your hand where's the men where's the men ladies look at a man around you say to the man I know you shouldn't teach the men but you're not teaching them you're prophesying put on your prophetic hat right now and say to the men you are called to be a leader turn to some man in this place say you are called to be a leader you are called to be a leader turn to some man in this house say you are called to be a leader God is calling you to rise up and be a man that means that some of you ladies need to get off your man horse they, they always say that the men wear the pants you need to start dressing different I'm not trying to be religious right now because I'm talking spiritually right now maybe you're wearing pants today I, I get it they have women pants I don't want to get in an argument with you right now but I'm talking about spiritually you can't allow the men to be men if you're being the man you can't see the men rise up if you're taking their place some of the men are afraid of you that means the men are cowards at the same time but some of you ladies are so aggressive you pushed your fourth husband away that's why you're fifth five times married and your fifth husband is hiding hiding in hiding with his friends hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah it got too hot on the mic your fifth spouse he learned he realized that he was in danger so he learned to be quiet I notice a lot in, in, in a lot of families the men are quiet when the women are talking I don't know I, I don't, if I said if, uh, show me hands I guarantee you there would be so many hands going up the mothers are talking too much the wives are talking too much 
the girlfriends are talking too much. And so the men don't know what to say. And so they, they become passive. The Bible says there's something beautiful in the sight of God. It's when the women put on a meek and quiet spirit. There's been a major shift in our culture. And we can make excuses for it. We can say this is the way God wanted it to be. And then complain with what we see in the education system. You have to acknowledge how we got where we are today. The reason why we're here today is because the church has abandoned the word of God. We started to step into places we shouldn't be. This is a form of worship, you know. Do you know that there is a worship that, that God hates and there is a worship that God loves? You see, the Bible says to worship God in spirit and in truth. In spirit means with the same desire, the same heartbeat, the same love, the same presence of God. But truth is according to how God said it should be done. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5 and 18. There will be people in the kingdom that are the least. And there will be people in the kingdom that are the greatest. The people that are the greatest kept it according to truth. They followed God according to truth. They obeyed the word of God. And they said, I'm not going to turn to the right or to the left. But the people in the kingdom that will be the least. These are going to be the people living in the ghetto in the kingdom. These are the people that are not going to be able to access the presence of God as much as some others. This world has the rich and the poor. We're all going to be in the, in the kingdom if we're saved. But some will be closer and some will be further. Some will have greater rewards and some will have least. I want to be the one with the greatest rewards. I want to be in the presence of God all the time. I want to wake up with God saying, are you going to meet with me today? I want to hear God saying, well done, good and faithful servant. This is the mantle of God I want on my life. But not every mantle is for everybody. The mantle of God's presence so and God's obedience to his word. The third thing I'm going to say, and I'm kind of hinting into my message, is what some people call a religious spirit. Contrary to what a lot of people say. I'm not saying a religious spirit is dressing modest. Dressing modest is a godly spirit. I'm talking about the kind of religious spirit that makes their faith all about one day a week. Everybody shows up for church on Sunday. But if I were to call the same people for a prayer meeting in the middle of the week, they wouldn't come. If I were to call the same people to go out on the streets with me and preach, they wouldn't come. But yet when they come on, Saturday, on Sunday, everybody's singing as if they love God. 
The book of Amos chapter 5. Verses 21. Says I hate. And I despise. Your feast days. I do not savor your sacred assemblies. Though you offer to me burnt offerings and your grain offerings, I'm not going to accept them. Imagine hearing from God that he won't accept your tithes and offerings. I saw that we just, we just took an offering. And we give offering to the glory of God. Do you know that you can have church without God? How many of you know that? Do you know that you can sing and there not be anointing? Do you know that you can pray and God is not even listening? Do you know that you can fast for 20 days? And it was as if it didn't even happen. God wasn't paying attention. That's what this verse is saying. He's saying, I'm not going to even look at your peace offering. And he says, take away from me the noise of your songs. How many of you know here today that the music could sound so nice but to God it could sound like noise? He goes on and says, I'm not even going to listen. I'm not going to listen to the melody of your instruments. This is what I wanted. And this is what you didn't give me. Let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. I want justice in the house of God. I want justice in Ottawa. I don't want another church building. I don't want another Sunday service. I don't want another uh, bunch of people playing the drums. I want men and women of God to bring justice in the land and to stand up like beacons of light and to bring righteousness in Ottawa. I want people that are not afraid to lose their life. I want people to love me like I, my son loved me. I want bold people that are not afraid to stand against the grain. That are not afraid to call white white and black black. Everybody wants it to be gray. Don't offend her. Don't offend him. Don't speak about it. It's a controversial topic. I want you to know here today, God has no problem with controversy. God is a controversial figure. People are still controversing about God. Does he exist or not exist? Jesus is a controversial figure. He said, I am the only way to God. And no one comes to God but by me. You can't get saved by Muhammad. You can't get saved by Mary. You can't play your rosary beads and think I'm listening. I'm a holy God. And I'm a controversial figure. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one comes to God but by me. No one, 
I made them male and female for my glory. I didn't make two men to sleep around. I didn't make two women to sleep around. And you want to hold your church building? You want to want to maintain your position? Because you don't want to say it as it really is. I'm here to tell you today, you got to say it. You got to be controversial. You got to stand up for truth. Because if you don't stand up for truth, God won't stand up for you. Yes, you might lose your job. Yes, you might lose your position. But God has a better position for you. God has a better job for you. They can take away your money. They can freeze your bank account. They can run your name in the mud. But God is saying to you today, they ran my son's name in the mud. But I rose him up on the third day. And he's seated with me at the right hand. And he's coming to judge the living and the dead. And he will reign forever and ever. He will reign. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Don't worry what they do to you. You might lose your ministerial license. Your denomination might disown you. But Jesus said, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. Your friends might leave you. Your spouse might leave you. Your mom might leave you. Your dad might leave you. But Jesus said, I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me. And I will keep you. I will hold you. And you will know freedom. You will know peace. Hallelujah. God says let everything be done in order. He said he's not a God of confusion. It's either Muhammad can save or he can't. If Jesus died and Muhammad could save, then Jesus died in vain. If Buddha could save you, then Jesus died in vain. If man was made to marry man, we don't need no woman. And if woman can marry a woman, we don't need no man. If woman could be the head, then we don't need no man. If women could do everything man could do, then we don't need no man. And if man could do what woman could do, we don't need a woman. If man could give birth, we don't need a woman. But the Bible says he made them male and he made them female. He made them male and he made them female. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Stand on the word of God. It doesn't matter what they say about you. God is true. And let every man be a liar. The church has to be the pillar of truth. The church has to be the one place where there's no confusion. Men need to be men. And women need to be women. Men need to be in manly roles. And women need to be in womanly roles. No wonder no woman knows how to cook today. And no wonder no man knows how to build anything today. Men are taught to cook. And women are taught to build. We got it upside down. So we got men walking around with tight jeans. Tattooing their body. Painting their fingernails. Ta 
what, what do they call what do they call that brother that, uh, you go to a latino barber and, and they're and, and they're, 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 they're 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 cutting their their eyebrows starting to put on makeup and powder some of the most uh, feminine men i'm gonna say it my friends are the latino men they're walking around looking so feminine they want to cut off their beard they want to look like a girl yes there's a macho ones but even the macho ones they want to be but john was right and the pharisees were wrong the scribes were wrong but the prophets were right i'm saying the word of god you don't have to like me you don't have to invite me again i'm totally fine they don't bring me in big churches i'm not looking to preach in big churches i got big street corners to preach hallelujah i'd rather preach to the people that need it than the religious people that want to play games with god you, you want to sing your phony songs and none of y'all care about the lost when last did you go to the street and win the lost your members don't want to get their nails dirty oh i don't want to go to that guy he's too poor i want my church to be this way i come to tell you today jesus spent time with the prostitutes the sinners that was his company because they didn't play games they didn't know how to be religious they didn't have all the right clothes they were humble enough to be taught you need to be a church that will receive the word of god exactly how it is and stop playing this sunday religion start making jesus your everyday religion your everyday religion hallelujah the title of my message is i want what you have somebody turn to their neighbor and say i may not want what you have but i want what he has hallelujah because if you were to say, I want what you have, <laughs> you might get something you don't want. <laughs> so I had to correct that for you. But the title of my message is, I want what you have. And it's based on the Elijah mantle. How many of you know the man of God named Elijah? Hallelujah. I'm not going to be too long, saints of God. There's a word called covetousness in the Bible. Covetousness, to covet, to covet, to, to want what somebody else has. In the Bible, it's usually looked at as a negative thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. En la Biblia es visto como algo negativo. When you want what somebody else has. Cuando tiene lo que otra persona tiene. This is usually a bad thing. Usualmente una cosa más. One of the ten commandments Uno de los diez mandamientos is you shall not es no covet your neighbor's house. Deseará la casa de tu vecino. You shall not no desearás covet your neighbor's wife. La esposa de tu vecino. How many of you are wanting someone's prójimo. wife by looking at pornography? ¿Cuántos quieren la esposa de otro cuando ven pornografía? The Bible says, la Biblia dice, you should not want your, your, your neighbor's servants. No desearás los siervos de tu you shall not want prójimo. your neighbor's Mercedes Benz. No desearás el Mercedes Benz de tu vecino. Yes, it says that in the Bible. Prójimo. Lo dice en la it palabra. says that in the Bible. Lo dice en la palabra. The only difference is in the Bible it was an ox. La diferencia es que en la palabra dice que era un buey. Today it's a Mercedes Benz. Hoy es un Mercedes Benz. You should not want your neighbor's donkey no eh, envidiarás ni codiciarás el burro de tu vecino or anything that is your neighbor o cualquier cosa que sea de tu 
vecino o tu prójimo. Stop desiring what your neighbor has. Déjate de codiciar lo que tu prójimo tiene. Stop looking at what your neighbor has. Déjate de mirar lo que tu prójimo tiene. There's a problem in poor communities. Hay un problema en las comunidades pobres. I belong to a poor community. A mí me gusta. Yo crecí en una. And I can tell you that everybody wants what somebody else has. Y en estos lugares todos quieren y desean lo que otro tiene. You see someone with a BMW ves a alguien con un BMW you start talking. y empiezas a hablar you go to your wife. vas a tu esposa you see that show off? ve ese que se muestra tanto I've been working so hard. I deserve a BMW. Yo trabajado tan duro. Yo merezco un BMW. You see your neighbor with a gold chain. Ve a tu vecino con una cadena de oro. You see that show off. Ve ese que se muestra tanto. What makes him so worthy of a gold chain? Esa estrellita que lo hace tan digno de una cadena de oro. Three weeks later. Tres semanas más tarde. You see the same man with a gold chain. Ve a la misma persona con una cadena de oro. Two months later. Dos meses después. You see that same man with a BMW. Ve a ese mismo hombre con un BMW. This is what they call. Eso es lo que llaman. Keeping up with the Joneses. Manteniéndose a flote con los Jonás. A material mindset. Una mente materialista. Everyone wants what the other person Todos has. Todos quieren lo que la otra persona tiene. Everybody's looking at how successful someone else Todos is. Todos están mirando cómo el otro ha crecido. And they want it. Y lo desean. They'll kill for it. Matarían por ello. They, they, will, they will dream about it. Ellos soñarían con eso. They'll even slander someone else's name just to get it for themselves. Hasta difamarían el nombre de alguien solo para obtenerlo. This is called covetousness. Esto se llama codiciar. In the book of Ezekiel. En el libro de Ezequiel. Chapter 33 and 31. Capítulo 33, versículo 31. It says this. Dice así. And they sit before you as my people. Y se sientan así como mis hijos. They hear your words, y oyen tus palabras. But they don't do them. Pero no las hacen. For with their mouth they show much love. Porque con su boca muestran eh, amor. But their heart goes after covetousness. Pero sus corazones se van tras la codicia. All you are to them. Todo lo que eres para ellos. Is like a pleasant song. Es como una, un salmo, una canción linda. Or someone that can play well on a instrument. O alguien que puede tocar lindo un instrumento. They hear your words. Te oyen tus palabras. But they don't do them. Pero no las hacen. Why is this? ¿Por qué es esto? Because their heart is desiring something Porque else. Porque su corazón está deseando otra cosa. Covetousness. Codicia. Jesus said in Luke chapter 12 and 15. Jesús dijo en Lucas 12, 15. He said, be very careful. Sé muy cuidadoso. Beware of covetousness. Ten cuidado con la codicia. For a man's life. Porque una vida del hombre. Is not in the abundance of things. La vida del hombre no es en la abundancia de las cosas. That he possesses. Que posee. Life doesn't come from that. La vida no viene de eso. The Bible even says and goes this far. La Biblia llega tan lejos. In 1 Corinthians 5 and 11. Primera Corintios 5, 11. It says don't keep company. Dice no tengas compañía. With any Christian. Con cualquier cristiano. That is covetous. Que es codicioso. Usually they look greedy. Usualmente se ven Usually eh, they're avaros. talking about trying to move up the ladder Siempre hablan de subir y crecer. usually they're boasting about everything they have Siempre se hinchan con lo que tienen, se inflaman. it also says more También dice más. don't be friends dice, no seas with Christians con cristianos that are sleeping around before marriage que están acostándose con otras personas antes del matrimonio. but that's a different topic Pero ese otro tópico. This is what the Bible says es lo que la dice about desiring things. De desear cosas. But there's one thing, Pero hay una cosa, or maybe two, o puede que dos, they're tied in together. Que están unidas. There's one or two things that God has no problem una o dos cosas que Dios no tiene problema. with you desiring, con tu codiciar. with you coveting. Con tu desear. And that one thing or es, the two things 
is in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Primera Corintios capítulo 12. Verses 31. Versículo 31. He's saying don't covet anything that your neighbor has. Dice no codicie nada de lo que tiene tu prójimo. But I want you to covet one thing. Pero quiero que codicies una cosa. Covet the best gifts. Codicia o envidia los mejores dones. Covet the best gifts. Desea los mejores dones. You know what the word covet means? La palabra codiciar significa. It means desire. Desear. It means a heartfelt desire for something. Desea un, de, significa un corazón deseoso de algo. You want it so badly. Lo quieres tanto tanto. That it's always on your mind. Que siempre está en tu mente. It's always on your heart. Siempre está en tu corazón. There was one man. Había un hombre that I can point you to today que yo podría apuntarte en este día that desired the best gift que deseaba el mejor don that wanted it so badly que lo quería tanto that he would follow around another prophet que él seguía otro profeta wherever he went donde él iba he would beg the prophet y él le, lo, lo seguía for the anointing y le, le rogaba por la unción. and even at his death y hasta en su muerte, you can see this prophet ves a este profeta, standing by his side parado al lado de él. that man was Elisha ese hombre era Eliseo. this man ese hombre, embodied eh, eh, siguió, the desire el deseo, for the best mantle para el mejor manto, the best gift el mejor don that he saw in his presence. Que él vio en su presencia. I don't know who's in your presence. No sé quién está en tu presencia. But God usually puts people around Pero you. Pero Dios usualmente pone gente alrededor tuya. So that you can have a healthy desire. Para que tú tengas un deseo saludable. For the best gifts. Para los mejores dones. Every time you are under somebody, cada vez que estás bajo alguien, God has something he wants to deposit inside of you. Dios tiene algo que quiere depositar en ti. Anytime someone that's better that's around you. Que hay alguien que es mejor que ti. God is speaking to you. Dios te está hablando. And saying I have something for you. Y te está diciendo tengo algo para ti. And if you would desire the good thing. Y si tú lo desearas not to take his place no de tomar su lugar not for a title no por un título because god sees the heart porque dios ve el corazón you see in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 primera corintios capítulo 12 as it went into chapter 13 en el capítulo 13 we know that the best gift was love sabemos que el mejor don es el amor the bible says la biblia dice love covers la, la, el amor cubre a multitude of sins multitud de pecados when you have love cuando tú tienes amor you have access to the heart of God tienes acceso al corazón de Dios when you have love cuando tienes amor you have access to the spirit tien, of God tienes acceso al espíritu de Dios when you have love cuando tienes amor there is nothing that God will withhold from you no hay you. nada que Dios detendrá de ti if your heart is pure si tu corazón es puro, and you truly love God y verdaderamente amas a Dios, and you're making yourself available y te haces dispuesto to say God para decir Dios, not only do I love you no solo te amo, but I want to love what you love pero quiero amar lo que tú amas. I want to love your people quiero amar a tu gente. I want to love the lost amar a los perdidos. if you have a heart like si this tú tienes un corazón así, God won't withhold anything Dios from you no detendrá nada de ti. because he can trust Porque te confía. But to have that kind of love. Pero para tener ese amor. To walk in that kind of love. Para caminar en ese tipo de amor. It takes a sacrifice. Toma un sacrificio. It takes somebody like Elisha. Toma alguien como Eliseo. Second Kings chapter two. Segunda Reyes capítulo dos. It says in verses two. Dice en verso dos. Elisha said unto Elisha. Elías lo envió a Eliseo. Stay here, I pray you. Le dijo, quédate aquí, te pido. For the Lord has sent me to Bethel. Porque Jehová me ha enviado a Betel. And Elijah said, y Eliseo dijo, as the Lord lives, vive Jehová. And as your soul lives, y vive tu alma. I will not leave que you. Que no te dejaré. I'm not going anywhere, no Elijah. No iré a ningún lugar, Elías. So they went down to Entonces Bethel. Entonces descendieron a Betel. Elijah the prophet could have said, "Listen." Elías el profeta podría haber dicho, "Just stay there, young man." Quédate allí, joven. 
because I got some business to Tengo do. Cosas que atender. But Elijah was so convinced. Pero Eliseo estaba tan convencido. He was so persuaded. Tan persuadido. He had such a strong desire Tenía tanto deseo to walk in the mantle of Elijah. De caminar con el manto de Elías. But he said, Elijah, I'm not leaving dijo, you. Elías, no te dejaré. Wherever you go, I will go. Donde tú vayas, yo iré. That sounds like a woman of God that Su I remember in the Bible. Suena como una mujer de Dios que habla la Biblia. Sounds like Ruth. Suena como a Ruth. This woman, not even in the covenant house of Ruth, Israel. No estando en el convenio y el pacto de Israel. She was not worthy. No era digna. She could have been a a prostitute for other men una prostituta de hombre. because men in those days were a little cruel Porque hombres en ese entonces eran crueles. a gentile woman Un, una mujer gentil. what right does she have in the house of God tenía en la casa de Dios. this woman could have had on her mind Esta mujer podría tenido en su mente. all the ridicule from the other woman Todo el ridículo de todas las mujeres. the real woman of God las mujeres verdaderas de walking Dios. through the courts of the synagogue caminando por las cortes de la sinagoga. walking through the street por los patios, por las calles, looking at this heathen woman, mirando a esta mundana, with a dead husband, gentil con un hombre muerto, they must have said, y haber dicho, she must have cursed him, probablemente ella lo maldijo, she must have brought his death, probablemente ella le trajo muerte, it serves him right, y está bien, he married outside of the household of faith, porque se casó con un hombre fuera de la fe, for this heathen woman, esta mujer mundana and this woman gentil, y esta mujer, this woman esta mujer, didn't have to go into the house no tuvo que ir a la casa. she didn't have to honor her dead no husband tuvo que honrar a su she could have went back to podía, her former life podía haber ido a su, eh, forma de ser she antigua. could have went back to her old anointing podía haber vuelto a la unción antigua. but she walked into the presence of God Pero ella caminó y entró a la presencia she de Dios. met a man of Israel, y conoció un hombre de Israel. and this man had something y that she needed este in her hombre life tenía lo que ella necesitaba en su vida. she knew it would be a hard road ahead Sabía of her que era un camino difícil. she knew if she wanted to be included she had to take some hits Sabía que para ser incluida tenía que tomar de she él. might have to be a slave tenía que ser esclava. she might have to work day and night Probablemente trabajar día y noche. she might have to take ridicule Probablemente ridiculizarse. she might have to be someone that takes a lot of a, a lot of stones her way Probablemente alguien que tome muchas piedras en el camino. I don't know what she heard in the marketplace. No sé qué escuchó en el camino, en el I can mercado. almost guarantee Pero puedo garantizarte I wasn't there. que yo no estaba allí. But I know how religious people can Pero be. yo sé cómo son los religiosos. I look at the life of Jesus. Y veo la vida de Jesús. I look at the life of Mary. Y veo la vida de Mary. Aleluya. She was a woman that had a child that looked like as if it was out of wedlock. Era una mujer que tenía un hijo como que parecía que era fuera del matrimonio. People made stories about Mary. Y la gente hace historia de matrimonio. People made stories about Jesus. La gente hace historia de Jesús. This man claims to be someone bigger than he he says he is. Este hombre habla ser más grande de lo que es. This man is claiming to be the Messiah. Este hombre dice ser el Mesías. We know his father and his mother. Sabemos, conocemos a su padre y madre. Who is this man? ¿Quién es este hombre? He took ridicule. Él tomó ridiculez. John was called by God. Él fue por Dios. He took ridicule. Él fue ridiculizado. He wasn't a priest. Él no era un sacerdote. He wasn't in the temple. Él no estaba en el templo. He was a shaggy, raggedy old man. Era un hombre viejito, malcriado. Out in the wilderness. Fuera en el en el cuidado de With afuera. a calling from God. Con un llamado de Dios. God said, "I just want you to baptize." Dios le dijo, "Quiero que bautices." He didn't have priestly garments. Él no tenía eh, su vestimenta He didn't look the part. Él no tenía lugar. La parte. He knew that if he was going to follow God, él sabía que si seguía a Dios, if he was going to receive the mantle, si iba a recibir el manto, to be the man that that prophesied about the coming Messiah, para ser el hombre que profetizaba del que venía al Mesías, he knew he would get some names thrown at him. Sabía que iba a ser nombrado y difamado. False prophet, como profeta False falso, teacher, falso maestro, man acting with no authority, hombre que actúa sin autoridad, self-appointed, hombre que se llama solo. Who is this? 
man. ¿Quién es este hombre? He's a nobody. El nadie. Mr. Nobody. Un don nadie. Where's his church? ¿Dónde es su iglesia? He's on the streets. Está en la calle. Who is this man? ¿Quién es este hombre? He's unworthy. Eh, no es digno. He didn't go to school like I did. No fue a la escuela como yo. That's how I know. Así lo conozco. Ruth must have had it hard. Ruth tiene que haber tenido difícil But when Ruth camino. bumped into the anointing. Pero cuando se topó con el ungido. When Ruth realized there was something in the house cuando of Israel. Cuando Ruth se dio cuenta que había algo en la casa said, de Israel. She said, I don't care. Dijo, no me importa. I don't care what ridicule I have no to go through. No me importa lo que tenga que pasar. I don't care who makes fun of me. No me importa quién se ríe. I don't care what I look like. No me importa qué parezca. I don't care about my skin color. No me color. importa de mi color de piel. I don't care if I got a dead husband. No me importa si tengo un esposo muerto. I don't muerto. care if it looks like I'm a nobody. No me importa si parezco un don nadie. I'm gonna chase after the anointing. Voy a seguir la unción. And I ain't going anywhere. Y no me voy a otro lugar. I'm not gonna leave you. No voy a dejar. Your God will be my God. Tu Dios será mi Dios. Your people will be my people. Tu gente mi gente. I want the mantle of a life. Yo quiero el manto de Elías. Yo quiero la unción profética. Y voy a pararme en el camino hasta que lo reciba. Dale a tu vecino un high five. Yo lo voy a obtener. Dale la mano al que está al lado tuyo. Dile, yo lo voy a obtener. Aleluya. 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 Elijah said. Eliseo dijo. I'm not going to leave you. No te dejaré. I'm going to go down to the house of God with you. Seguiré hacia la casa de Dios contigo. Some of you are too lazy to go to a prayer meeting with your pastor. Algunos de ustedes son muy flojos para ir a la oración con el pastor. Some of you are too lazy to fast with your pastor. Son muy flojos para ayunar con el pastor. He called a fast while you're eating pupusas. Y amó a ayuno y tú sigues comiendo pupusas. He said, "Could you not dwell with me for a little while?" Él dijo, "No puedes estar conmigo un ratito." Could you not stay awake with me for a little while? No puedes quedarte despierto conmigo un momento. I want to feel the power. Quiero sentir el poder. I want you to feel it too. Quiero sentirlo también. Que lo siento. Some of our desires are all over the place. Mis deseos están por todos lados. We say we want God. Queremos a Dios. But we really want something else. Pero queremos otras cosas. Well, Elijah said. Eliseo dijo. I'm going to the house of God with you. Yo iré a la casa de Dios contigo. Verses three says this. Verso tres dice. The sons of the prophets. Los, saliendo los hijos de los profetas that were at Bethel, que estaban en Betel came to Elijah, vinieron a Eliseo and said to him, y le dijeron Knoweth you that that the Lord will take away your master? Sabes que Jehová te quitará a tu a tu señor hoy. From my head today, de sobre ti hoy. And he said yes. Él dijo sí. I know it. Yo lo sé. Hold your peace. Callada. And Elijah said. Y Elías le di, volvió a decir. Elijah, stay here. Eliseo, quédate aquí. Wait ahora. here. Quédate. I pray you. Porque te pido. For the Lord has sent me to Jericho. Jehová me envió a Jericó. And he said to Elijah, y él dijo a Eliseo, "As the Lord lives, Eliseo le dijo, eh, and as your soul lives, vive Jehová, vive tu alma, I will not leave no you. Te dejaré. So they came to Jericho. Vinieron a Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho, y los hijos de los vinieron a Eliseo, and said unto him, y le dijeron, Don't you know that Elijah is going to die? Acaso no sabes que Elías va a ser quitado de ti hoy? And God's going to take him away from you. Y Dios lo va a quitar de tu lado. And he answered, Yes, I know. Y él dijo, Sí, lo sé. Hold your peace. Mantén tu paz. Don't worry about it. No te preocupes. Mind your business. Mantente lo tuyo. You see, there's going to be people in your life Va a haber gente en tu vida that are going to question you for coming to this church. Que van a cuestionarte por venir a la They're going to question you te for coming to CFM. Cuestionar por venir a CFM. Have you not seen the video? Oh, no has visto los videos. Have you not uh, uh, seen how small that church no is? No has visto lo pequeño que es la iglesia. Have you not seen how David offends people on the street? No viste cómo David ofende a las personas en la calle. And they're gonna come and tell you everything to get you off track. Y van a decirte de todo para sacarte de tu camino. There's gonna be people that are content with where they are. Va a haber gente que está contenta como ellos. I don't know about you, but I'm not content with where I am. No sé si tú, pero yo no estoy contento como estoy. I want to go deeper in God. Yo quiero ir más profundo en Dios. Until my shadow heals the sick. Hasta que mi sombra sane los enfermos. Until I can say the word. Hasta que pueda decir la palabra. And people get healed in the back pew. Y la gente recibe sanidad. 
until demons run at the sound of my name hasta que la gente puedan eh, ser sano al oír el nombre I got somewhere else to go tengo otro lugar donde I'm ir. not gonna stay here no me voy a quedar aquí until I'm walking in the very presence of Jesus Christ hasta que camine en la presencia de Cristo Jesús until I can walk on water hasta que pueda caminar en las aguas until I can make the bread turn into five thousand que, pieces hasta que pueda convertir el pan en cinco mil piezas tengo un lugar donde ir and I'm going to glory y voy a esa gloria I'm going into the presence of God voy a la presencia de Dios I ain't going anywhere no voy a otro lugar you can stay in your Baptist puedes church puedes quedarte en tu iglesia bautista you can stay in your dead church puedes quedarte en tu iglesia muerta you can muerta. stay in your dead choir quédate en tu coro muerto you can muerto. stay in your, your, your old fogies home quédate en tu casa añeja I'm going to stay with the youth Quédate con la juventud. I'm like a, like I'm young again. Yo voy a quedar con los jóvenes y voy a saltar. God voy a alabar with a Dios y voy a alabarlo con el I'm Evangelio. Hallelujah. I'm going higher in the Lord. Voy a ir más alto con el I'm Señor. I'm not staying where I started. No me voy a quedar donde comencé. I'm going deeper. Voy a ir más profundo. I don't know if there's anybody, at least five people, that can say I'm going deeper. ¿Cuánto va más profundo? ¿Quién lo dice? I'm going deeper. Yo voy más profundo. Hallelujah. There's always going to be people that don't want to go with you. Siempre va a haber gente que no quiere ir contigo. They're going to question you. Te cuestionarán. They're going to badmouth you. Te hablarán mal de ti. They're going to make you double think. Te harán pensar dos veces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You thought you were walking right. Pensaste que caminaba bien. And then this other prophet comes along your way. Y otro profeta viene. You thought all prophets walk with God all Pens the time. Pensaste que todos los profetas caminan I'm con Dios siempre. I'm here to tell you today. Te digo hoy. Don't listen to every word a prophet no, says. No escuches todas las palabras que un profeta te habla. Because some prophets, algunos profetas, will speak the word of God today. Te hablarán la palabra de Dios hoy. And will speak the word of the devil tomorrow. Y hablarán la palabra del diablo some mañana. Some teachers will teach the word of God today. Algunos enseñarán la palabra de Dios hoy. But something wicked gets in their spirit. Y cuando algo entra en su espíritu, and they teach the word of the devil tomorrow. Acobardan, van a hablar la palabra del diablo mañana. You must test everything. Tienes que probar todo. You must read the word of God. Tienes que leer la palabra de Dios. If Elijah listened to these prophets, si Elías oyó a estos profetas, he would have missed out on his anointing. Hubiera perdido su unción. He would have missed out on his vision. Hubiera perdido su visión. He would have missed out on his blessing. Hubiera perdido su bendición. And sometimes, y a veces, sometimes, a veces, the anointing isn't where you think it's going to be. La unción no es lo que tú crees que va a ser. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes some people think chasing the big name prophet is where the anointing is. A veces las personas creen que seguir al profeta de nombre grande allí está la unción. I, I know so many people chasing big name prophets. Conozco tanta gente que siguen a profetas de grande nombre. They want a word. They want a word. Quieren una palabra. Quieren una palabra. Listen to me, saints of God. Escúcheme, santos de Dios. La palabra dice por una razón. There's a reason. Hay una razón. The Bible says, la Biblia dice, in the last days, en los últimos there tiempos, will be many false prophets. habrá muchos falsos profetas. You have to be careful. Tienes que ser cuidadoso. It's not always at the big church. No es siempre en la iglesia grande that you're going to get the anointing. Que vas a obtener la unción. It's not always where the crowd is. No es siempre donde está el grupo grande where you're going to get the anointing. Que va a estar la unción. In fact, Jesus said, si Jes Jesús dijo, that the anointing que la unción is nearer than the breath that you take. Es más cerca de ti. He said, if you can just go into your prayer si closet. En tu lugar de secreto, de Some of you would rather go to hear a big name prophet. Algunos prefieren ir a escuchar uno de renombre profeta. But you don't want to hear a big name God in your closet. Pero no quieres escuchar a, al, el, al renombrado Dios en tu pieza. Saints, en tu you would go to a big name prophet. Quieren ir a ver a un profeta de renombre. But you have a big name God. Pero tienes un Dios que tiene And his nombre name is mayor. Jesus. Y su nombre es Jesús. And he's nearer than the breath that you take. Y él es mayor que el profeta que conoce todo lo que tienes que hacer es ir en tu rodilla y orar en tu cuarto y pedir y buscar y la Biblia dice puedes hasta golpear y la puerta se abrirá a ti 
You shall receive what you ask Tú recibirás for. lo que pides. If you just have faith. Si solo tienes fe. And you have a big name God. Y tienes un Dios de renombre. The one that bears the name of salvation. El que lleva el nombre de salvación. The name greater than David Lynn. Un nombre mayor que David Lynn. The name greater than Pastor Miguel. Un nombre mayor que Miguel. The name greater than Benny Hinn. Un nombre mayor que Benny Hinn. The, the name greater than Reinhard Bunky. Un nombre mayor que Lionheart. The name Bunky. greater than TB Joshua. Un nombre mayor que TB you have the name tienes el nombre the only name sobre todo nombre the greatest name el nombre más grande the name above every name el nombre sobre todo the nombre the name of Jesus el nombre de Jesús that at that name el nombre que every lleva, knee shall bow el que toda rodilla se doblará y toda lengua confesará that Jesus Christ que is Lord Cristo es el Señor that name ese nombre is on your mouth en tu boca that name ese nombre is before your eyes está en delante de tu ojo Name. Si tú dices ese nombre name, y lo llamas por you nombre, shall be saved. tú serás salvo. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. It's not everywhere everybody's going that's where you need to go. No es todo lugar que va la gente que tú tienes que ir. Sometimes you just need to hold on. A veces tienes que aguantar to the little vision un poco, aguantar en la visión that God has put in your heart. que Dios puso en tu visión. Sometimes God puts people right in front of you. A veces Dios pone gente delante tuyo. But you reject. Pero tú lo rechazas. Their presence. Su presencia. I grew up in an old school type of Christianity. Yo me crié en una en un evangelio de la vieja escuela. Where we sang hymns from a hymn book. Donde cantamos himnos de un libro de him, himnario. It was a little boring. Era a veces aburrido. It wasn't a Pentecostal church. No era pentecostal la iglesia. It was a non-denominational evangelical era, era, church. Era de de sin nombre de nom de nom de But this, de nom is, this is where God Planted me at that time Pero allí, of my life. Allí Dios me plantó en ese tiempo de mi vida. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I could have said. Y yo podría haber dicho. I could have said that this church. Podría haber dicho que esta iglesia. Is unworthy of my presence. No es digna de mi presencia. But the Bible says. Pero la Biblia dice. Every man ought to look at himself soberly. Todo hombre tiene que mirarse sobriamente. You have to see yourself. Tienes que mirarte a ti mismo. For who you really are. Por quien tú eres. Some of you are criticizing the church that God put you in. Algunos critican la iglesia que Dios te puso. He put a mantle over your life. Puso un manto sobre tu vida. That you haven't even attained yet. Que aún no has alcanzado. And then you're looking on TV. Y estás mirando en la tele. And you want some big mantle from some big name prophet. Y quiere un manto mayor de un profeta mayor. And God never put that prophet directly in your life. Y Dios no puso a ese profeta para guiarte. The reason why God didn't put that person directly in your life. La razón por la que Dios no puso esa persona en tu vida. Because God wanted you to go there in stages. Es porque Dios quería que fueras allí por etapas. Some of you want to jump from A to Z in Al one day. Algunos quieren saltar de la A a la Z en un día. God didn't even jump to A to Z in one day. Dios no saltó de A a la Z en un día. He made the earth in six days. Él hizo la tierra en seis días. Day one. Día uno, day two, día dos, day three, día tres, day four, día cuatro, day five, día seis, day six, día seis, day seven, día siete. He rested on the seventh day. Y descansó el día siete. Some of you want to go to day seven. Algunos quieren ir al día siete. You want to be rich. Quieren ser ricos. Right now. Ahora. Get that mindset out of your head. Sácate esa mentalidad de tu cabeza. Every ghetto person I know wants to be rich right now. Toda persona del gueto de la calle quiere ser rico. Well, I'm going to be a famous rapper right Voy now. Voy a ser un rapero famoso I'm ahora. I'm going to be a famous reggaeton singer right un, now. Un, un reggaetonero famoso. I'm going to have a mansion right now. Va a tener una mansión ahora. And so they're living in mom's basement. Así que viven en el basement and de la mami. And they take a loan from the bank. Y tomaron un préstamo del banco. To buy a nice Mercedes Benz. Para comprar un Mercedes Benz. They don't have a job. Y no tienen un trabajo. I don't know how they got the loan. Y no saben cómo obtenieron el préstamo. They get the car repossessed in the y, next month. Y el, el auto se lo van a retomar el próximo mes. Because they mes. couldn't pay their car. Porque no pagaron su auto. Even worse. Y peor. They get a car. Tienen un auto. But they can't pay for the insurance. Y no pueden pagar el seguro. Nor can they pay for the gas. Ni pueden pagar por el gas 
They, get, they want a house. Quieren una casa. But they can't pay the light bill. No pueden pagar la electricidad. How did you go from point A ¿Dónde? to point Z in ¿Dónde one day? fuiste del punto A al punto Z en un What's día? wrong with your mind? ¿Qué te pasa en la cabeza? People get saved yesterday. La gente se salva ayer. I think they should be a pastor tomorrow. Y quieren ser un pastor mañana. People get saved yesterday. Se salvan ayer. And they want to start their own YouTube channel. Quieren comenzar su propio canal YouTube. They want to be a teacher. Quieren ser profesores. No wonder half of those people. Con razón la mitad de esas personas. Start their own ministry. Empiezan sus propios ministerios. Within a month of getting saved. Y después del mes de ser salvo. They end up falling into grave sin. Terminan cayendo en gran pecado. They fall off the map. Y caen caen del mapa. You don't see them anymore. Y no lo ves nunca más. Because they expose themselves. Porque se exponen a sí mismos. They put themselves in front of devils se ponen delante de demonios they thought that kind of anointing was easy y pensaron que la unción era fácil if you're going to stand as a pastor si vas a pararte como if pastor if you're going to stand as a minister si vas a pararte como if ministro if you're going to walk in an Elijah and a 